All right, hey everybody, and this is 54 News Chart, and today we're gonna to be working on a sound system. Also, I'll re be redoing the first part of this video, um, or not of this video, but of this series. Uh, previous video, it was taken down or something like that, and so I'll be redoing that video to make it a little bit clearer. Also, I've added in some more art and all that stuff, and I've redone some of the coding to make it better. Okay, so let's deal with the sound system. So it might sound complicated and it re really isn't. You just have to kind of like deal with some new ways of like coding inside the drag and drop system. So right now I'm going to literally just X off all of these coding things because we don't actually need them. We need the first intro and then the first event sheet. So this sound system literally deals with on left click button uh, so you click on sprite 7 so sprite 7 is in all of these event sheets I uh, literally since it was in the project it references all the code and as long as you have that same exact code in every event sheet then you're good to go alright so on left click sprite 7 you're going to set uh, audio is equal to 0 System audio equal to zero. Uh, set audio silent. This is in the sound system. Uh, system set sound to one. So what this is doing is this is getting ready to switch it. So when sound is equal to zero, set, uh, set it silent. And then system sound set to one. So it's getting ready to flip it around. Else, system is not silent and the sound is set to zero. Remember, it's an off and on switch. <clears throat> and then you wanna just add in a blank, add, and then add a blank, uh, it's add in a blank event, and that's sub event. Yeah, okay, you could use, uh, here we go, add a, add a blank sub event. set animation frame to sound so what this is doing now is this is going to refer um, every frame to the sound so sound you have off and on or zero one when it's uh, set to zero um, zero is for it to be silent one is for it to be on so now we have um, a animation and that is the sound icon on and the sound icon off and then what we want is on the start of the layout set the sound to one so one means it's on and then we're going to play uh, the audio track and then we're going to loop it and then we're going to set sound equal to sound so that when it when you play it through one menu it stays in the other and then what you really want to do is go to intro hit this uh, little sound icon and this guy has two sprites so he's the off and on and while we have him clicked you actually want to add a behavior called persistent that's going to be the you know basically the universal sign okay so it's already added it but you can just type it in and it'll find it and it will literally say whatever happens in this scene it's always going to happen and especially since we've added in the same exact sprite so this sprite is called sprite 7 I'm going to pull up uh, level not level 2 but the instructions and it's sprite 7 so I just drag and dropped it from one um, from the project basically our assets so when I play it Okay, so it's on, off, on, off, on, off. And I'm going to leave it off. I'm going to hit start, and it's off, and now it's on. And then I want to say, hey, I want to go to, you know, first problem, two. Okay, I want to listen to music while I'm doing math. Boom. 
And the only issue right now is that I have to do a check on whether it's on or off. It's that's kind of tricky, but other than that, the it actually does work. Um, two, three. So it works, and we can go over the code one more time. Okay, so on select the mouse, uh, you want to check. Uh, so this is on, you're going to need the mouse click um, system. So you're going to click right, you're going to go into insert new object, and it's going to be in the input. I have already have it in next to touch, so you're not going to see it here, but it says on input. You want to select the mouse input. So mouse input, uh, left click on the Sprite 7. We're going to have parameters for system. So this is going to be a little gear saying on variable sound. So you, you want to add a variable to this. Sound equal to zero. Uh, and this is on the audio. So what you want to do with that is you want to insert an object called sound and that's actually going to be on media and you want to input your music so I have this one sounds uh, forgotten worlds short and it's, it's a repetition it's a repeating tune so I want to say hey set silent if it's equal to zero because zero means it's off but uh, set system choose a variable to change sound is equal to one so it's that's literally the off and on switch <clears throat> else set audio to not silent so if it is silent it's going to be zero if it isn't silent it's going to be one else set not set not silent set system to zero global uh, sound is zero and that's why when it starts up it's uh, silent Oh, actually, hold on. All right, it's hold on one second. So some sound is zero. All right, so that's the correct way to do it. On start of layout. No, I think I had it right. Yeah, I had it right. This looks really, really weird. Doing it this way. But it's just literally you uh, switching. That's all it's doing. <clears throat> so you, what you want to do is set, this is the uh, Sprite 7 uh, audio icon sprite. You want to set that sprite animation to the sound. So when it sets to zero, it's gone. It's going to be on the uh, the like the pre-first frame. So it's going to be on you know off, and then when it's on one, it's going to be on. On start of layout, set sound to one. So right now we're going to say hey, set it to sound one, and that this set sound to one would be referencing this else. Uh, set audio to uh, not silent and then this is set sound to zero and it's referencing this set to silent on start of layout set it to one and play the sound and then sound equals the sound so okay so sound variable is going to be equal to the sound whatever whatever number um, this is going to be and then we're going to set system to sound to sound Okay, so what, what what that is meaning is that whenever um, okay, set sound to zero, it's this. We're referencing this, which is a weird way of doing it. It's kind of a, a repetitious way, but it's kind of like the way to do it. So when sound is equal to sound, then all these that reference the sound our little sound icons are going to say hey we need to pick up on what what that uh, variable is so we can make sure that we have 
uh, that variable in place. So if it's zero, it's off. If it's one, it's on. Um, this is kind of a little mind tricky thing going on here. So on this ep episode, I'm going to actually put the um, file down below for you guys to mess around with and to add into your systems. It's kind of hard to explain. I mean, it's it's simple, but it's just kind of like I never would have thought it that way. So you guys can play around the sound system, add it into yours. Uh, I'm going to mess it around with multiple audio tracks. So in case you want to go fa uh, not really backwards or forwards, just along the lines of different audio inside of the actual game. But it usually works along the same uh, principle. So hopefully guys you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it wasn't too tricky. The next one is going to be along the lines of drag and drop stuff uh, for educational games and then spelling and then there's going to be one on um, basically history stuff. So you're going to be literally just dragging one history uh, fact to another history fact. Um, so some simple educational video games. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to download this file down below so you can figure out what exactly this is and how you can put it inside of your video game. Until the next episode guys, I will see you later.